All right, so in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to connect a PS4 controller to Windows. Um, so to do that, you're going to use a, a program called DS4 Windows, uh, which you can download at ds4windows.com. And it will bring up a page like this. You just want to go ahead and click download. And it'll take you to the GitHub, um, and then you'll want to go ahead and click the zip file uh, that's right here, and just download that um, to your computer. And then go ahead and just open that up. And what I do is extract to the desktop um, in a new folder. So let's see, we'll do it just, let's see, there. And I'll just name it DS4 Windows and then click OK. And so you can see that it's now extracted to the desktop. All right, so next is basically to put your PS4 controller, and mine's seen uh, definitely better days, but p put your PS4 controller into pairing mode. Um, so in order to do this, and sometimes. Uh, Maybe it's best you unplug your actual PS4 if it's already uh, paired to it so it doesn't turn on uh, by mistake. Uh, but to put it into pairing mode, you're, you're going to want to hold the PS button and the sharing button. Sharing's up there, PS4, our PS button is in the middle. So just hold those two together. And the light, you're going to see, and you can't really see that on camera but it's going to just start blinking. And once you see that it's blinking, you know it's in pairing mode. Uh, so after that, you want to go back to your actual desktop. And you can either, usually you have a Bluetooth uh, icon uh, in your tray here. Uh, if not, you can just, and you're on Windows 10, you can just type Bluetooth and go to settings there. Um, and what you're going to want to do is just add a new device, which is right up there. And then click on Bluetooth, and it should find it uh, as long as your Bluetooth is working. Um, the controller, which just comes up as wireless controller. And you want to go ahead and click that. It'll install, and you're basically done. Um, that's really all you have to do to get the actual PS4 controller connected to your PC. Okay, so next you want to go to the folder on your computer um, where you extracted DS4 Windows. I extracted mine to the desktop, as you can see, the icon's right there. So I want to go ahead and open that folder. Um, originally, it's just going to have two uh, files, um, but you're going to want to go ahead and select DS4 Windows. And I always select Program Folder, um, however you can do either or. And that'll open up the actual application. Um, so from here, you can see my controller, uh, PS4 controller, is already connected. Uh, it has 70% battery life, um, and it's connected via Bluetooth. Um, there are a couple additional settings that you can mess around with. Um, for example, you can go to Profiles and then go to Default. And you can change the lighting on the actual PS4 controller itself. Um, I always set mine to kind of the rainbow uh, or alternating colors. So I'll, to do that, you just click this little icon and then save the profile. And if you go back, you can actually see, uh, let me switch. So you can actually see the light bar. You can't really see it in camera, I apologize, but you can see the light bar is changing colors um, and that is basically all you need to do within uh, the actual application itself um, you can always close that or minimize that next you would want to go ahead and open up the emulator if that's what you're running um, and configure that within the emulator so i would go to controllers and then plug in settings and then leave everything here basically as it is but go over to pad one and naturally you're going to want to assign um, all these buttons to the actual controller uh, and i'll show you that so 
For example, I'm going to click L1 back on the controller. I'm just going to press L1, and it will, you'll see it register over here. I'm going to select L2, press L2 on the actual controller, and it will change up here. And you're going to want to do that for all of the buttons here. And then just click Apply, and then click OK, and that is fully set up. You have a PS4 controller uh, running on PC via Bluetooth, um, and you can customize it a little bit within DS4 Windows. Um, and you can run it with any game, um, and specifically uh, with PS or PCSX2, uh, which is a PS2 emulator. All right, so if you found this video uh, helpful, uh, please leave a like. Uh, if you have any issues, any problems whatsoever, uh, feel free to comment uh, down below and I'll reply and uh, I can help you out. Um, and uh, make sure to share, uh, tell your friends uh, if they wanna set up their PS4 controller uh, just to follow this tutorial. And uh, I'll see you see next time.